What's going on guys? So, this is a product that we never had a chance to install on the 2020 Ford Explorer. This is actually a 2 inch receiver hitch, class 3. And uh, the reason I'm showing it now is because I've had it sitting back here and it was definitely going to be something we were going to throw on the Explorer. But then when we decided to trade the Explorer in for the Denali, it just really, of course, didn't make any sense anymore. So I offered to send this back to the folks over at eTrailer. But before it goes back, I figured I'd make a quick little video on it. A 2-inch receiver, and this has some pretty good capacity. It actually exceeds both the towing as well as hitch weight capacity of the actual Explorer. So uh, the rating on this is 6,000 pounds worth of towing capacity and 600 pounds worth of tongue weight capacity. So this is really cool. Unfortunately, it did not get an opportunity to get installed on the Explorer. Um, if it had, then the next owner of the Explorer would have had a nice 2-inch receiver on it. Uh, they still would have had to install the uh, trailer lights as well as the brake controller if they were going to haul anything heavier. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. It's built really well. You can see all the welds are really impeccable. Nice tubular section right here that's solid, then it's reinforced with quarter inch thick steel plate on each side. Again, really, really nice welding all the way around the receiver opening. And even this section here is all quarter inch thick steel plate. And very, very, very nice welds. And part of my voice, I'm actually getting over a cold right now. They include all the hardware, it's all grade eight hardware, which is awesome. Very cool. Anyways, let's get on to the rest of the video. Okay, so welcome back. So I've had a chance to go and get some coffee, help my voice clear up a little bit. I got some crazy chest congestion going on right now, and uh, hopefully I can make it through this video without losing my voice. We looked at this really cool e-trailer receiver, but, um, you know, I made a video on Christmas Day. I actually filmed it in the morning talking about five things that anybody who owns a pickup truck or an RV or a combination of both would absolutely love to unwrap for Christmas or even a birthday or an anniversary, anything like that. And I almost guarantee this. I mean, I don't guarantee it like, you know, you get a money back if, if you're not happy. But for people who like to be outdoors, for people who like to drive trucks, for people who like to work on things... If you have an RV, you pretty much have to like to work on things. Yeah, so definitely go back and check out that video because the five things that I talked about in that video would definitely be things that you might want to get for someone you're married to, someone you're related to, or if you just know that type of person in general who owns a pickup truck or an RV or a combination of both. But in that video, uh, the number one thing I mentioned is actually kind of ironic because I went to my father's house later that day and look what he got me. So he got me this really cool Cuisine Art outdoor pizza oven. And he got it for me because he has one for himself and he absolutely loves it. And uh, he also got one for my brother as well. And, you know, when you end up buying the same thing over and over for multiple people, including yourself, you generally have a pretty good opinion of it. So I haven't had a chance to use it. I just assembled it. Um, it was super, super easy to assemble. It's not what I would consider to be like professional or, or commercial grade by any sense. It's definitely more consumer grade. But this is something you could easily pack up and load in an RV. Shoot, even the, uh, the pizza handle here collapses. So you can fold it up, throw it inside of there, and, you know, be able to pack it up in your basement storage. If you have a drop frame, you have even more storage. Or you might even be able to fit this in some of the cabinets that some of these larger RVs have. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It gives you a little recipe guide with it as well. Um, some other stuff. It has a nice stone right here. Here you have your uh, your burners underneath. This is propane. I believe he packaged in an adapter because I didn't see it on the instructions. So I believe he packaged in this adapter to use with a standard 20, 30, or 40 pound propane can. But if you don't have that, or if you don't want to connect this to a full-size propane can, if you don't use the adapter, you can simply screw in a bottle-style uh, direct connection right here and be able to use it off of one of the smaller bottle style that you can pick up at Walmart or anywhere else. So it's going to be really convenient for folks who don't specifically want to disconnect their propane from their RV or carry an extra large propane bottle with them whenever they want to use it. So you can definitely use it with one of the smaller cans. Now, it didn't arrive in perfect condition. It's got a couple of dents, but this actually is a double layer. So I just noticed that. So this right here is not the inside of this. It's double layered, and they probably do that for heat retention. But yeah, that's uh, 
that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I mean, to be honest with you, I think we'll probably get some pretty good use out of this. Um, I told my wife this morning we need to order a, a frozen pizza or maybe a Papa Murphy somewhere that they, you know, essentially prepare it, then you take it home and cook it, which has always kind of confused me. But now that we have this thing, it makes a little bit more sense. And then below it has a warming tray. So my gut tells me you probably put the pizza in there if you're cooking two pizzas and you can keep it warm. And then right here, you can actually put your uh, wood chips in here if you want to give it kind of a smoked flavor. But very, very cool. Haven't had a chance to use it yet, but we might order a pizza that we can cook ourselves at home with this. Which, you know, I've, I've made homemade pizza before. And I'm not really good at it. Well, I'm not going to say I'm horrible at it, but I'm not great at it. And it usually turns out in such a way that when you eat it, you want to convince yourself that it's amazing until you realize that the texture may not be right, the crust isn't perfect, the, the toppings taste a little interesting. They don't really taste like you would get them like on a Pizza Hut pizza or a Domino's pizza or a gourmet pizza. But you convince yourself that it's this absolutely amazing pizza because you made it yourself and because it's better than what I guess could have happened if you messed it up even more. And that's me making pizza. So now that I have this uh, piece of hardware courage in front of me, it's going to be really interesting to see how pizzas turn out. But this thing's super cool. Can't really give you a true review on it yet until I have actually cooked a pizza. And maybe we'll do that in another video. We might throw that on the uh, BTBRV Life channel. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to that one yet, you might want to if you want to see me destroy a pizza and uh, use this thing for the first time. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to this channel. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and check out the link in the description of this video to go to my other channel, which is the BTBRV Life channel. Anyways, we'll talk to you again very soon.